three years, start to finish. A new library built with the most modern and most primitive technology. This is a behind the scenes look at what it takes to create a new architectural landmark through the eyes of its designers, their client, and an artisan who works with wood. What did we learn yet? Did we learn anything yet? This radius, what we'll come. This radius. This radius. I mean, we're going to shoot for it. I mean, that's all we can do. You can do it. There are great expectations. Oh, oh you're kidding me. But things don't always go as planned. You know, no reason why. Can't hit it each week. It's a doable schedule, so. Technically, this is a monster. Have I got a choice? No, I don't. You're getting down well, to What it. do I do? Yeah, it's figured out. I just don't know what's going on yet. I don't know why somebody won't just tell these people. This isn't going to happen. Coming up next, the story of some people who go out on a limb in the name of the environment, fine design, and the future. bit of rain, some mosquitoes, and it's officially started. The first day of work on the construction site. You know, somebody said, the reason you can do these projects is because no one ever told you you, you couldn't. Not, That's obviously not true because everybody tells you you can't. It's a matter of just getting in there and doing it. This is like a treasure map with a lot of work at the end of it. These occasional woodsmen are collecting dead ash trees for their project. So 85 we're taking as well. It should be right next to it. Yeah, right You're next 84 to it. and 85. Right Where's the 80? There it is right there. Is that it right there? This is 84. Oh, well, we don't want that. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how we're going to do this, but we're going to we're going to get in the woods. We're going to bring these axes. We're going to go and we're going to roll. They're hoping to capture the spirit of the old world, a back to the land sort of thing. When you look at those trees, you know, everybody looks at those trees, they're like, oh, these are really neat. But I, I get to look at those trees and, and I see a lot more. You got it, Scott? I like, <laughs> I love working with wood. I like, I love what you can create with it. I love what it, it, it can be. All right, we'll see you in Troy. <laughs> I want to be able to react to something. I want to be able to react to the wood. I want to feel like the wood is, that it's kind of pushing me. Look at that. That's what we're dealing with right there. Wow. As the, the adult burrows into the tree in a hole, and then this is the the, the larva, that this is how they feed. And they cut off the blood for, uh, supply for the sap supply or the food supply for the tree by riddling this. And this is what we want to keep in the final project for the, for the library. We want to leave this as close as where it is right now, dry these out and use them for flooring and use them for structure. So yeah, they gotta be beautiful. That's a good one. Or a bad one. Or... Ann Arbor keeps growing. More people, more buildings, more everything. And a new library is going up next to a forest hit by an insect infestation that's killed all the ash trees. An insect called the emerald ash borer is eating its way across the Midwest. It started in Michigan, arriving from China as a stowaway in shipping containers. The library will help tell that tale. What do you see here in 2008? I see a building that is hugging the corner. And there are cars all along the street and all in the parking lot. And you can see through the windows and every table's full and people are checking out books and DVDs and videos or attending a meeting or a story time. 
It'll be a very beautiful building, and we won't see the trees from the street, but if you're in the building, that's what you'll see. And there, uh, behind us is a preserve, which will never be developed, so the view from the library will always be the same. We realized that most of our trees were ash, and ash trees had been infested by the emerald ash borer, and they were dead or dying, and we had to take them down, and we decided to use them to put them in the building so that the public sees the impact of what happened with the emerald ash borer infestation.